Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I will explain tabular data interpretation. First of all, read the information which is given in the question. Here the information is about number of soldiers retired during six different years. Here the information is about number of soldiers. If you observe this value which is given in the brackets, that is uh, each and every value is in terms of thousands. Every value is given in terms of thousands. And the information is about uh, number of soldiers retired uh, during the different years from 2004 to 2009. 2004, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Total 6 years are given and the academics of those soldiers, the academics of those soldiers are Air Force, Army, Navy, Coast Guard and BSF. These are the 5 different academics and the time period is 2004 to 2009. In that particular time period, number of soldiers who are retired are from their uh, duties that is the given information now look at the first question what is the difference between what is the difference between total number of soldiers uh, from air force air force means this one total number of soldiers from retired from air force uh, in the years 2006 7 8 so first uh, air force First one, Air Force and the time period 2006, 2007, 2008 and the second one and the number of soldiers retired from Army 2009, Army which is 2009, Army 2009, Army 2009 in only single value that is 8.4. Army 2009 that is 8.4 write down here this is 8.4 each and every value is given in terms of 1000 so you need to multiply that value with 1000 so what you will get here is 8400 8400 army 2009 which is equal to 8400 these many members these many soldiers are retired from their duties in the year 2000 9. Now coming to Air Force 2006 first value. What is 2006 value? 2.9 thousands and 2007 value 5.4 5.4 2008 value 4.2 4.2 add these three. If you add these three what you will get here? 6 uh, 9 plus 4 13 13 plus 2 13 plus 2 15 1 is carry forward and next uh, 2 plus 5 7 7 plus 4 11 11 plus 1 12 this is 12.5 you need to multiply that value with 1000 why because everything is given in terms of thousands therefore this value becomes 12500 air force in these three years together the value is 12,500 whereas the army 2009 is 8,400. Now the question is uh, difference between these two. Difference between those two values. 12500 12500 minus 8400. Here two zeros are common and then 5 minus 4 1 12 minus 8 uh, which is uh, 4 4100. 4100 that is the required difference between those values 4100 option b is the right answer option b let us look at the next question total number of soldiers retired from bsf in the years 5 and 6 together here first of all bsf bsf 2005 and 6 together together in the sense you need to add those two values 5.1 and 3.7 5.1 plus 3.7 which is equal to 8.8 thousand right here we need to calculate the percentage observe the values carefully this 8.8 thousand value was approximately 
what percent of approximate value we need to calculate what percent of total number of soldiers retired from navy over all the years together so first uh, calculate navy total navy total value here navy is uh, this one middle one so calculate all the values uh, 1.6 plus 1.9 plus 2.4 plus 2.8 you need to add each and every value after that uh, 1.5 plus 3.5 first add these values uh, here you will get something here 1.5 plus 3.5 this value is 5 and next 2.4 and 2.8 which is equal to 5.2 right 5.2 and then 1.6 1.9 1.6 and 1.9 that is 3.5 3.5 now you can add all these values 3 5 sorry 3 and 5 8 8 and 5 13 13.7 13.7 this is navy total navy total is equal to 13.7 now the required percentage which we need to calculate is the bsf 2005 and 6 together that is 8.8 .8. this 8.8 .8 is what percent of navy total which is uh, 13.7 and whenever you are calculating the percentage in 200 percent decimal is common thing right here decimal point and one decimal point both are cancelled 88 by 137 into 100 88 by 137 into 100 you need to calculate approximate value it is not required to calculate the exact value here i can go with uh, if you if you take a uh, this is 36 what you will get here here it is 22 and uh, you can cancel with four table four 22s and four three so and next uh, four four times and next again 11 times and next uh, 17 times right 17 times uh, 11 by 17 into 100 1100 by 17 which is equal to 17 sixer 1 or 2 17 sixer 1 or 2 80 will be there 80 means uh, 17 4 times 64 point something value our required answer is approximately 64 if you look at the options uh, 64 is there in the options there is no requirement of calculating the exact value according to the question we need to calculate uh, approximate value so directly you can keep the answer as uh, 64 approximate value is 64 percentage option c is the right answer let us look at the next question what was the average number of soldiers retired together in the year 2007 here we need to calculate average number of uh, soldiers who are retired in the year 2007 as we all know that average means what sum of observations sum of observations divided by number of observations right now average is equal to sum of all the values in the year 2007 2007 total value which is equal to 5.4 plus 7.2 plus 2.8 plus you need to add all these values 5.4 1 7.2 2.8 2.7 and 5.2 again 2.7 plus 5.2 whole divided by total how many values we are taking total five values total five values and uh, everything must be multiplied with a uh, thousand why because uh, all the values are given in terms of what thousands Therefore, your required average is equal to, first add all the values, you will get something here, 7.2 plus uh, 2.8, this value is 10, okay, and next, uh, 5.4 plus 5.2, that is 10.6, and next, uh, 
you can add 10 and 2.7 that is 12.7. 12.7 plus 10.6. Add these two. What you will get here? Here it is 3 and this is 1. 13.3. Sorry, 2. 23.3. 23.3 into 1000, which is equal to what? 23300 whole divided by 5. Whole divided by 5. Now you can cancel these two values. Here the total sum is 2330, right? This is the total value. This is not the average value. Sometimes there is a chance of misunderstanding of question. Here you got 23300 as the total value, but it is not the average value. So directly you can eliminate option C. Now you can divide that value with 5. Here it is how many times it will cancel? 4 times. 5 4 is 20. 33. 33 means 6 times. Again 3 will be left over. 30 means 6 times. And next 0. 4 double 6 0. 4 double 6 0. That is the required average. Option A is the right answer. 4 double 6 0. That is the required answer. Next question. In which force, in which force, the number of soldiers retired continuously increased uh, from the year 2004 to 9? According to the question 2004 to 2009, there is a continuous increment, continuous increment of number of soldiers retired. That is for which force he is talking about. First, let me start with the uh, air force. Air force is... Uh, Increase from 4 to 5, but then it is decreases. So, Air Force is not your answer. Air Force is not your answer. And next, uh, Army. Army is increases during first period. Next period also increases. Next period, 6.9 to 7.2 increases. But here, 7.2 to 6.4. Here it is decreases. So, army is not your answer. If you look at in option B, you have army and BSF only. This is not your answer. Next, coming to Navy. 1.6 to 1.9 increases. 1.9 to 2.4 increases. 2.4 to 2.8 increases. But in this period, 2.8 to 1.5, that is decreases. Navy is not your answer. Next, Coast Guard. Here it is 0 0.6 to 1.8 increases, but 1.8 to 1.2. That is decreases. Coast Guard is not your answer. Among the four options, not even a single option satisfies the given condition. Obviously, you can go with option E. That is the required answer. And we will also check it out BSF only. See, here it is increases, but here it is decreases. Again, uh, this is also not satisfying the given condition. So, among all the five academics, uh, not even a single academic satisfying the given condition, which is uh, continuous increment in number of soldiers retired. That is, option E is the right answer. None of these. Last question in this session. What was the respective ratio between the number of soldiers retired from army in the year 2004? Army 2004. Army 2004. And then number of soldiers retired from Coast Guard 2006. Coast Guard. Coast Guard 2006. Army 2004 and Coast Guard 2006, we need to calculate the ratio between these two values. First take Army 2004. Army is second one and 2004 means that is 5.2. This is 5.2. And Coast Guard. Coast Guard is fourth one and we are talking about 2006. This is 4, 5 and 6. That is 1.2. 1.2. Now, here one decimal point, one decimal point, both are cancelled. 
52 is to 12. You can cancel with the fourth table. 4 3s, 4 13s. 13 is to 3. 13 is to 3. That is the required answer. Option B. Option B is the right answer for this question. Guys, uh, that's all about this session. I hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you. Thanks for watching.